Hey guys, it's Saria. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, we are going to be running into Dollar Tree to check out their back to school section. I don't know how much is actually going to be out because I do feel like I'm a little bit early. It's July 14th and most school doesn't come back until the first full week of August. However, I go back to school like August 1st. So I'm running out of time to get the, the couple of things that I know I'm needing. So I'm going to run inside. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a high school theater teacher and have been a teacher for over 10 years now. So I do like to get a good deal for those things I need for my classroom. <laughs> Let's go shopping. So they do have the same backpacks that they had last year. Um, they're very small, like a pre-K size backpack and they're super, super thin. Like, I don't know how long that's going to hold up, but at the same time, they're $1.25. So, um, I don't know. I think they're definitely like the price makes sense. They also have lunch boxes. They do look insulated, but again, really, really flimsy. And I don't know how long they would actually hold up. So if you guys are on like TikTok and stuff, I'm sure you've seen, but teachers are begging parents not to buy stuff like this because they're saying it's like such a distraction in class. But, um, so maybe not for your kids, but for you, <laughs> but it's a poppet and a notebook. Um, and then they obviously have like tons of different types of crayons. These are actually scented, it says, to be like Mike and Ike's and you get a bunch of different colors. I'm not sure of the quality. I'm very like Crayola only. <laughs> they also have Jolly Rancher. It's interesting. Fruit Loops. They have a compass, a compass and a protractor set, some assorted different stationery, what is this, oh a poster marker, okay so it looks like you get black on, a f on the bullet tip and then a pink chisel tip, are they all just black, so they're all like black with a color on the top. This must be like a collaboration that they're doing. Interesting. <laughs> so this is all very basic stuff. I feel like you can find most of this stuff here year round. It's just basic highlighters, expo markers. Uh, glue sticks. I have heard pretty good things about these brand of glue sticks, which are that's a huge pack for a dollar 25 um, but i've actually heard they work really really well like very comparable to em elmer's is what i've seen people say got some cute pens back there colorful packs of pencils i'm not sure how well the erasers are on these that's probably like the thing that i care about is how good is the eraser on the pencil <laughs> These are the pencils that most elementary teachers request. So if you guys get like your back to school shopping list, these tend to be the ones that they're asking for because I, they just write smoother and they have really good erasers, but it's a four pack for $1.25. So I'm not sure that that's the best bang for your buck. I got here a couple days too early, clearly, because they just have like <laughs> boxes of school supply stuff still boxed up. It looks like they do have the little caddies. I think these are the perfect size for table groups if you're a teacher. I love these little containers. They're about the perfect size for pencils and colored pencils. So great way for sorting materials. Or if you have a craft room, really, really good for organization there. They also have these book bins in the same kind of matching colors, but I do feel like these tip over really, really easily. I use them for my girls' coloring books, so just keep in mind you need a shelf where they're pretty tightly packed in so that they don't tip. So I'm loving the color scheme of all these pastels. They have this desk organizer, and it looks like you can put a photo in it or use it as a dry erase board on the front. They also show it holding makeup brushes. That's really smart. So you get one larger compartment, one smaller compartment. I only see it in pink and purple, but I feel like it probably does come in the other colors. This is magnetic, so you can stick it in a locker or on a whiteboard. They have some cute themed magnets and matching mirrors. Hi guys. <laughs> and then, I don't 
don't know what this is. I guess it's just a desk notepad. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna see what it looks like on the inside, but they also have these really cute notepads. Okay, so you don't have to open it up because they tell you on this little sticker, but I don't know. Nothing super special about that in my opinion. Same thing for this one, but I do like that everything's kind of coordinating in the same style if you're looking for like sets of things and then those are little cork boards. That'd be cute for a little pin display. Okay, these things are my absolute favorite. I actually picked up a couple more for myself, but they're desk organizers, and these are so expensive anywhere else. You get five, so you get one really, really big one, and then you get a skinnier one for like pencils, and then you get three small ones for like paper clips, binder clips, stuff like that. Um, they have it in pink, they have it in purple, a light blue, and a teal, and I cannot say it enough because if you buy something like this on Amazon or go to Walmart, it's so much more expensive, and these are super sturdy, thick plastic. My number one go pick up if you're looking for something for your desk. They have tons of little dry erase boards. These are pretty big, but I do think that this is the kind where like eventually it starts to stain and they're really hard to clean. Oh no, that's this kind. <laughs> these are really hard to clean. But I do like them, they're super cute. They have a bunch of different themes. They have little cute pocket planners. Sorry, it's really hard to do stuff like this one-handed. Oh, that's all the designs on the box. Cute. Ooh, they have like the big three by five flashcards. And then they also have four by six flashcards. You don't see these quite as often at Dollar Tree normally. They only have the three by five. Okay, so they actually do have some of the caddies set out. This one has little rainbows and a daisy on it. Again, if you see the size, I just think this is perfect, especially for students. And then they've got some pink ones. These are the different styles. And then these are also pretty cool. It's a three pack. And they're like perfect size for pencils or colored pencils. I don't like the varying colors though, like I wish that they were all monotone because I don't use teal in my classroom. They have some new pencil cases. I do like the dual compartment, that's pretty nice. Just makes it easier for your kids to organize, like you've got, I can't even open this with one hand. <laughs> They're definitely not like space maker quality. This one is very cheap and flimsy. If I was going to pick one up, I would definitely get this one instead. And, oh, that's cute. Oh, it's like an acrylic paint. That's so cool. Oh, I got to get a couple of these. Okay, so you put the paints in the side, and then there's a little slot for the paintbrush and a place for paper. And it's got a lid on it so that you're, if you're still working, you can like close up the paint and it won't dry out. I'm going to get two of these. These are really cool. I use these to store like phone cables and stuff, um, but they have hot pink and blue. That's all I'm seeing is just those two. Um, and then they have tons of, tons is an exaggeration. They have some of these holographic pencil cups, like purple, pink, blue, and teal down there. Oh, these are great. They're index cards, but they have like little tabs and you can keep it like a, like a spiral, but they're perforated so you can rip them out. Great for studying. Okay, these are also cute index card options. It's got like a little key ring on it and then it's got a cover, but they have them in those same designs. I love this design. This is very like trendy right now. I wish I saw more stuff in the store like this. Some cute paper clips and like themed post-it notes. Little tabs. Okay, these are not school supplies, but they're so cute. They're like little bumblebees. <laughs> and then little ladybugs. They have a ton of composition notebooks out and journals and paper. I do like the composition notebooks here and I feel like they are cheaper. At Walmart, I think they're about $3 and here obviously they're $1.25. They have a couple versions of this. It says spread your, ring, your wings with butterflies on it and then it's like a weekly planner, which is pretty cute. I like how it has a next week column. <laughs> Yay, Disney stuff! So I found a little pencil pouch that's for the 100 year anniversary. Love that it has Mirabelle on it. 
it's like a vinyl material and it does have the brads to go into a binder. And then they also had a couple folders. These are like the, the card cardboard cardstock kind of feeling ones. That's so cute. <laughs> and then they also have this one. These do not have brads though because they have the little um like holes that you punch out in the folder instead. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute planner. Because it actually is like designed on the inside. It is a weekly style though, and that's not my favorite. This is advertised as a bullet journal. So for those of you that like bullet journaling, that's cute. I really like these. They're like accordion folders, but they're smaller and they're perfect for keeping track of receipts. Okay, I found another Disney thing. I love this art style of them like being best friends. That makes me so happy. But this is a spiral and it's wide ruled and you get 50 sheets. Okay, pay attention to the quantity, guys, because this says 250 and then this says 225. They're both 3x5 index cards, but you get 25 extra in there and they're the exact same price. Okay, I actually like the style of this planner. First of all, the design on it is really, really cute. It reminds me of Vans. But then inside it has like June and then it shows you the next two months smaller. You get reminders and notes and then you get the month view. I love that. That is fantastic. I'm going to get one. Okay, so this is one of the only other things I have found in this pattern print that I really like. And it's a weekly planner. It has a hole at the top clearly to like hang up. And then it has little tabby sticky notes and a to-do list. These sheets do tear off, so I guess you just use them as needed. I'm not going to get it, but it's interesting. Okay, I found these on the grad aisle by themselves. But that's kind of interesting if that's like your color scheme. That you're looking for just book bins those are the ones i told you guys about though that do tip over okay i do realize i'm in a store and there are going to be other people but you guys like the same two people keep following me around like like i'll be here and they'll be as close to me as that dish towel she's coming i have to go <laughs> okay i'm not sure how this works but it says that this is a book cover but it doesn't look like the stretchy kind. It looks like something that you'll stick onto it. So I'm not sure if this would actually damage the book when you try to take it off. Like it looks like vinyl. Okay, they have tie-dye here, like individual tie-dye. Again, I know it's not like back to school, but I think it'd be a fun final like summer craft. They have fuchsia, green, and red at my store. Um, but $1.25 is not bad for tie-dye. And then they also have these little wood craft rings, which make me think if you're doing a Mary Sanderson costume, those would be uh, perfect. Okay, <laughs> again, continuing in the craft section, I saw this and was like, how dare they? How dare they make a significantly smaller version and charge the same price? But it's a two pack. These are perfect for like when you're hosting stuff and you want to like label the food and make it all super cutesy. So it's a two pack for $1.25. Totally worth it. They also have tons of like plain wood pieces, including a little fairy wand, some little miniature palettes, and different, I don't know, just like an assortment for different craft projects. And this is a lot. Okay, pop off Dollar Tree because these are so trendy right now. I bought a six pack off Temu, or yeah, a six pack off Temu. And granted, they were like 87 cents for all six, but if you don't want to do Temu, you can run to Dollar Tree and get this really cute iridescent flower clip. Um, they also have this version. Ooh, somebody's not happy in <laughs> this version. Super, super cute. Okay, this is really cute. It's a first day of school sign, and it's like a little chalkboard for $1.25. First day of, and then you fill in their grade. Teacher's name, what I want to be when I grow up. How old am I? That is so cute. This is also like not school supply related, but still, I'm going to show it to you guys. It's like when the baby was born. That's really cute. Okay, and they have another version of the teacher, the first day of school sign. They have two different styles. Okay guys, we're gonna do like a miniature car haul. Also, I'm gonna show you my bag. <laughs> they move. 
that's not the best part, okay? This is epic, right? But then the back. <laughs> anyway, um, you can see my little Temu bag holder here as showcased in a previous video. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got. I didn't get very much, um, but I got the things that I've like, I've been waiting for back to school season to come back because I love them so much. Okay, the first thing is these little drawer caddies. I do have these in orange from last year and I needed a couple more because I have file cabinets that are really shallow and they turn so quickly into junk drawers without these. And again, I talked about this in the store, but this is your best bang for your buck. These are so, so, so high quality, very thick plastic. And they're the exact same thing that you're gonna buy like at the container store off of Amazon, but they're $1.25 for five of them. The only downside I would say is like, I wish I could get more of these long ones in the pack like I wish that they had packs that were different assortments maybe like a big one and two of the long ones because I would even pay a dollar 25 just for three if I because I don't need a million of the little ones does that make sense anyway moving on um I did pick up two of these little acrylic paint things I got one in pink and one in teal um we'll see how well they work I am a little worried that maybe they don't seal very well and the paint will dry out anyway but I really love the concept of like paints here, paintbrush here, paper, and then like if if you're still working on something, you can close it up and your paints will hopefully stay wet and then you can come back to it. So I'm hoping it works like it should. We'll see. Um, also, I love the idea of this being plastic and easy to rinse off and clean because it's, it's like a built-in mat, you know? Great idea, hopefully it works. <laughs> Okay, next I did pick up that little, um, acad so this is the th the key thing I would say to look for is the phrasing on what type of calendar or planner it is. Because one of the planners I showed you guys, I looked closer and it said that it was for 2024. And I was like, oh, well that's not even good to use yet. But this is an academic planner, so it's for the school year. And this is that one I showed you guys. So the first page is like the full school year. And then we've got August and then it shows you like the next two months. And for a teacher, this is like, I don't know, maybe like a normal teacher, it's not as big of a deal, but I'm a theater teacher. So I have to think, I have to think that far ahead of like, when are our field trips coming up? When's our competition season? When do I have to pay for rights and royalties for plays? Like when do we have to have costumes done by? And this way I'm like always able to think that far in advance, but still have like a really big, more detailed view, which I just, I, this is genius. And then they have reminders for important events and then also a notes section. I do like the little checkerboard. I thought, just thought it was a cute design. The paper's definitely a little bit like cheapy, flimsy feeling, but um, I don't mind. I think it's totally, totally worth like the uh, taller 25 that this was. And then um, it actually goes all the way through to August of 2024 for next year. So that's pretty cool because it can kind of get you the full school year. I think this would also be great for students, especially older students who've got tests and project due dates and stuff to keep track. Um, they do have a holiday calendar in the back and then important contacts which i honestly never use contact information because if i lose it <laughs> like here's how to contact everyone i love <laughs> and then um two notes pages in the back as well um the next thing <laughs> like i was n like i was gonna walk out of dollar tree without this are you kidding so it is in kinds of stickers for some reason it like very specifically says mirabelle very very large but it is like, look at that huge casita sticker. I would have paid a dollar twenty-five just for that sticker. Don't tell my husband, but I definitely would have. <laughs> oh my God! Stop. They have emotions with Mirabelle's face. Please just focus. Please, please focus. Look at this. Are you kidding me? And it's in Spanish. That is so cute. I I can't even handle it. Um, they're mostly the sisters, but like there's a whole page of her and Antonio and animals. And then they have a whole family. Stop. I can't believe I only bought one of these. What was I thinking? I think that might be all I got. Okay, so that is the whole like haul for my classroom that I got. I didn't, again, I wasn't like looking to spend a bunch of money. I honestly was just going for those desk organizers mostly. And then I picked up a couple other things that I was like, ah, I need that. 
Thank you guys so much for coming to shop with me today. You have to let me know what is on your must have list down below. Are you guys doing any back to school shopping? I know for a lot of people, back to school shopping doesn't really apply anymore. Like if your kids are grown, or if you don't have kids or if you're not in school anymore, but also my stationary lovers, like it's always back to school, right? <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your shopping list down below and I will see you in my next video. Bye.